Hello friends, today we are going to create edit box control in Visual C++ create a program which uh, demonstrate edit box control in it first create file new go to projects select MFC application wizard give a project name edits ok select dialog based next Mm, finish ok you can delete this placeholder now first we will need uh, static text control oh sorry dialog here is its property you can get property by right clicking and property you can use this pin icon to pin it uh, permanently there we will give its name <coughs> static first and ampersand f i r s t you can see caption available here and this ampersand sign make hot key for it now we will add uh, edit box control we will give it a name edit first the another one is second text box Okay, this is our second edit box. Now <coughs> we will add one button. Its caption will be get text now we will add another edit box and we will set its style property to read only so that you can see how it look we will give it a name show in the style property and it is read only ok our uh, basic design is ready let us see <coughs> how does it look control T control T will uh, display us how our message box how our dialog box will be visible to user now click get text double click get text button it will create a member function for us or we can say message handler for us click ok now type update data oh, sorry before uh, adding our code we should uh, create uh, member variables to create a member variables you can click you can press control w and uh, select <coughs> your uh, desired control here the idc first is this edit box control here we are going to add variable for it it is a string value this is a member variable 
it is category value and its type is C string okay we will add 15 here that means its maximum length will be 15 we can add another variable for another edit box str second it is also a string type and value it will return value and the third one is so we can uh, add variable for it also it is also a value and c string its maximum character is 15 and it is 31 okay now all the member variables are attached with each edit box control now get text <coughs> double click on get text this button uh, when this button this code will be executed when this uh, get text button is clicked type update data what this function does is it will transfer all the text box values to the member variable that we have recently added now we will check if m underscore str first this variable this member variable is empty or not to check that okay we are going to execute this code only if this member variable is not empty that means some value is there so first what will we do is take this value add it to the another member variable value that is the second text box and then reverse it so m underscore str second is equal to m underscore str first now we will reverse a second text box value m underscore str second dot make reverse then we, we will combine both of the values the first edit box values and the second edit box value which is now reverse of the first edit box value and we will join them together and display in third edit box that is show so m underscore str show is equal to m underscore str first plus underscore in between them plus m underscore str second we will update our edit box by writing this function update data we have to pass false in it if we pass false in it then it will store members uh, member variables value into the edit box so that we can see it now let us compile our program press F5 and click yes okay our box is here I'm going to write uh, something here that is let say a b c d e f click get text and you can see the second text box has a reverse order of the first text box and the third one which is read only you cannot type in this third one and uh, it is the combination of uh, both of the first and second text box thank you for watching see you in see you in next video Bye.